All right, guys, welcome into It's the Law. We're here with attorney Jay Davis from James W. Davis and Associates in Macon. He's our legal analyst, if you will. Jay, appreciate you coming on. Thanks. Good to hear, Michael. Really, one story that we've just been covering all across middle Georgia and so many people have been worried about and wanting to know about was the two escaped inmates in Putnam That's County right. that killed those two corrections officers. They just appeared in court for the first time this morning in Putnam County, and the state prosecutor said, we're going to seek the death penalty. Right. So let's take a look. Let's kind of go through the timeline of events. What is next? I think they have a grand jury. Yeah, the next thing is going to be an indictment by a grand jury. Now, the uh, prosecution is going to have to do some paperwork in order to go forward with the death penalty. Used to be that death penalty would be a jury decision. You have somebody that's murdered, one of the possibilities is a death penalty. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was sort of arbitrary the way it was done. So the law has changed that to where now there's certain circumstances. It's got to be aggravated. There's got to be something that's making it worse than just a regular murder. Mm -hmm. So among those, and there's about 11 of them, some of them it's done in the course of a rape or if it's done by somebody who's had uh, prior capital offenses before. Mm -hmm. These two are likely to have met a lot of the categories, which include killing a correction officer, which is exactly what they did, yeah. uh, or what they're they alleged, what, what they're alleged to have done. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So more than so, they are definitely in the category. If all the facts are, that are alleged to be are true, they're in the category that would fit multiple layers of capital offense. So the next thing would be the grand jury, and then the uh, the prosecution would submit their intent to go forward with the capital case. And, in and looking at penalty. it, does it seem likely that the death penalty will ultimately come down on these two? What uh, likely is a hard call because it sort of depends on what they decide to do, what their attorneys try to, to negotiate, if, if anything mm -hmm. at all, whether the prosecution sees this as so heinous that they're going to go forward with it no matter what. Um, a lot of times things are negotiated down for some sort of life sentence or something like that in order not to have to go forward with the trial. Mm -hmm. But if the evidence is uh, strong, which at this point it's, it's hard to like say, it. but it, it, looks pretty, it looks pretty strong at this point. So if the evidence is pretty strong against them, then the, pen, the prosecutor may be inclined to say, you know what, we're going for the death penalty and we're going forward full, full steam ahead. When will we get that answer of whether or not they will get the death penalty? How long do these things, it seems like it, it's kind of a drawn out process. How the, our criminal justice system is really a mess with regard to that. Not so much in cases like this because these two are likely to be incarcerated for the period of time, yeah. the duration of it, no matter what. Yeah. There are many people who are accused of something there may not be this type of evidence against that are still incarcerated for years waiting on their time to come up, their jury trial to come up. Um, you know, you have the right to a speedy trial, which is getting in the next two terms. But uh, if you don't file that in the right amount of time, then you could be sitting in jail for a long time. Right, right. We'll be following it. Jay, appreciate you coming on. That's Good Attorney night. Jay Davis. And we want to hear your legal questions, of course. You can email us at itsthelaw at 41NBC.com. Jay will certainly do his best to answer those questions during It's the Law Wednesdays on the News at 6. Let's toss things over to me.